Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to play Rose Parade by Elliot Smith off of Either Or. This is a very simple song for, for Elliot. Uh, there's a four chord progression that repeats through most of, the, uh, most of the song. It's the dominant structure in both the verse and chorus. Um, so I'll start with that and then I'll go, I'll show you the pre-chorus and then the um, chorus. Yeah, and it's like a ABC, ABC song. It's very simple. Um, meaning part A, part B, part C, and then the next half of the song is part A, part B, part C. There's a small variation in the latter part of the chorus that I'll show you. Okay, so this is the verse. The verse just cycles through that progression. That's a D major with a hammer on and a pull off. To an A major, to an E major, walk up to a G. We're playing the G like this. And uh, that lets us do the, the response and the call and response melody that happens. Um, So that's actually played by lead guitars. I don't think either of the rhythm guitars that are in the recording um, play those parts, um, but I, I think it sounds good. And so you can just make sure you have the A string muted when you bring that pointer finger up to complete the melody. So it's three, two, zero on the B string. Yeah. Uh, that brings us into the pre-chorus. Let's see if I can play it. Okay, that was the pre-chorus. So the F sharp is going to be played in a very specific way. Okay, we're going to start using the thumb to fret the second, and then four, four, three, two, and you're gonna leave the high E string open. Ah, did I mention this is in standard tuning? Okay, great. Um, so it's gonna be like this very slowly. We're gonna hit that twice. And then we're gonna slide our pointer finger up one fret to make the melody. And then with an upstroke, hit that high E. And then pretty quickly switch over to a B minor. And you can, you know, you can hit that F sharp if you want. Okay. After that, we'll go to an A. And then that's another tricky chord. That's, a, that's actually an E major but with the G sharp in the bass. F sharp major to an A major. Okay. So that's the pre-chorus. Again, it's pretty much F sharp major with the melody to a B minor to an A major. Um, uh, sorry, to a G, G, um, C, uh, sorry, an E major with a G sharp in the bass to a G major, to an F sharp major, to an A major, and then we're right into the chorus, and believe it or not, it's the exact same thing as the verse. Except at the end of the chorus, uh, you change the structure. Okay, so that's how he's going to end the first chorus. To an F sharp major, to an E major, to an A major, to an E major, and then a slow walk, let it ring out. Back to the
the second chorus, it's the exact same thing. Okay. Um, there's one difference in the end of the second chorus. The pre-chorus happens again, everything's the same, as far as I can tell. Uh, but at the very end, in the pre-chorus, um, sorry, not the, pre the end of the second chorus, instead of doing the F sharp major at the beginning, G. Ah, uh, yeah, we move, we have an F sharp minor. Okay. So we'll do. the end of the song. Okay, I should note the timing of the um, the chorus, uh, the end of the chorus here. Um, so it's going to, I'll just use the first chorus with that sharp major as an example. So the chord changes are going to be on the upbeats, ex except for the change from A major to G major. Okay, so listen. Okay, so it feels like the A has a little extra space. It, you play the A chord for a tiny bit longer than the others. Okay, so that's everything I figured out for this song. Um, hopefully it's useful. If you have any corrections, uh, I would be happy to hear them.